What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, welcome back to the channel. Today at the Game Awards, we received a pretty cool little trailer for everything coming with Black Ops Cold War Season 1 and Warzone, which is going to be starting on December the 16th. And like I said, we got a bunch of new information coming, such as new weapons, operators, and just so, so much more. So let's go ahead and check it all out. So guys, starting off with the weapons, there's going to be a total of five, three of which are going to be coming later in Season 1, and then a two in the Battle Pass. Now, the two in the Battle Pass are going to be the MAC-10 SMG, which was leaked a while ago, and you can unlock this at Tier 15 in the Battle Pass, and then the Groza AR, which is at Tier 30 in the Battle Pass. But then later on in Season 1, there's going to be a new shotgun called the Street Sweeper, and then we also have two melee weapons, one of which is the Wakasashi, which is pretty much a elongated sword and then a sledgehammer so some pretty cool melee weapons coming in season one but yeah guys upon a release for season one we do get two weapons again the mac 10 smg at tier 15 and then the groza ar at tier 30 now the mac 10 smg features a impressive fully automatic fire rate initially tempered by a slight vertical recoil and moderate damage this new smg benefits from improved handling speeds and yeah the, the mac 10 smg was really really good back in Black Ops 1, so I'm pretty happy to see this return in a Black Ops Cold War. Now, the Groza AR is a fully automatic assault rifle with excellent handling speeds and solid damage, as well as a fast fire rate and impressive damage range. So, by the looks of it, the Groza AR sounds like it's going to be a monster, but the Street Sweeper shotgun also seems pretty good, and the description says, with the fastest fire rate in its class and a larger ammo pool than its brethren, this is a fully automatic shotgun gun designed to clear out rooms of multiple foes. Prior to your gunsmithing, expect slightly reduced damage, but with reliable weapon control. So yeah, guys, all of these weapons sound absolutely amazing. If you're an SMG lover like myself, then the MAC-10 is just everybody's wet dream. So I'm really, really happy to get my hands on that SMG. But now for the new game modes we have come in multiplayer, one of which is Prop Hunt, which is a huge fan favorite game mode. Basically, guys, to play, you start off on two sides, one of which is the Hunters and then the other are the props so you spawn off as a prop it could be anything in the map literally anything inside of the map you're playing on could be a prop so uh you as the hunter has to shoot any object and basically just kill all the props until the game runs out so yeah a lot of fun really love prop hunt really glad it's coming back and then we also have another new game mode called a drop kick and the description for this game mode says this frantic game of nuclear hot potato features two teams each vying for control of a special and extreme extremely important briefcase. The round begins with each team racing to the location of a nuclear briefcase and attempting to pick it up. Anyone grabbing the briefcase is automatically equipped with a powerful pistol, but it's ideally up to the rest of the team to keep the briefcase carrier safe. The team with the case gains access to launch codes as well as an ever-increasing score for their team. If you die while your team controls the briefcase, you will not respawn until your carrier has been eliminated and the briefcase has been dropped. If your team isn't carrying the case, it must be flushed out and retrieved before it's too late. Once your team reaches the score limit by controlling and owning the briefcase, orders to execute a nuclear strike are confirmed and the round is won in a highly explosive manner. The first team to score 200 wins the game. So that is Dropkick. It sounds a lot of fun. Very, very crazy for sure. Kind of like a mix of Capture the Flag, S&D, and maybe some other game modes thrown in there. Again, like I said, it sounds so much fun. I cannot wait to play this game mode. And then we also have Combined Arms Hardpoint, which is 12v12. Really, really happy to see that coming as well. And then we also have a total of eight multiplayer maps, four of which are going to be 2v2 gunfights, and then another four are going to be regular 6v6 maps. The first map we're going to be looking at is called The Pines, and it's pretty much set in a New Jersey shopping center, and it's a medium-sized multi-level map. Next up here is called Raid, which you guys may be familiar with if you play Black Ops 2. Raid is honestly one of the best maps ever created in Call of Duty history. One of the most iconic maps for competitive as well. So really happy to see this map coming again. And then we also have Nuketown 84 Holiday, which is a nighttime Christmas themed version of Nuketown, which was leaked out a couple weeks ago. And then lastly here for the fire team map, we have Sanatorium, which is set in the deep oral plains of a Soviet experimental health retreat. So this map looks really, really fun if you guys play the fire team game modes. But now for the 2v2 maps, 
again, we have a total of four, which are U-Ban, ICBM, KGB, and then Game Show. So lots of new maps coming for multiplayer. Very, very exciting stuff here, guys. But now we also have new score streaks coming. Yes, you heard that right. For the first time ever in Call of Duty history, we actually have score streaks coming with a content drop. The first one is the Harp, which is pretty much like the Blackbird or the SR-71 that you Black Ops players may know. And then we also have the Tactical Wrath, which is probably going to be set for the Fire Team game modes only. Now, the Tactical Wrath's description says, a fast-moving boat that allows for quick maneuvering and carrying personnel across water-based terrain, beginning with the lake in the Sanatorium Fire Team map. Deft use of this watercraft can turn the tides of battle in the right hand. So, again, guys, for the first time ever, in Call of Duty history, we have two score streaks coming. Very, very exciting stuff. And then now for zombies, you guys are gonna love this because there is a new LTM coming. Yes, an LTM called Jingle Hells. And pretty much it turns Daimashina into a winter wasteland than a winter wonderland. The map is gonna be decked out with a bunch of Christmas decorations. Uh, there's gonna be snowballs that you can throw at zombies that's gonna freeze them. And some of the mobs like the Megaton is gonna have a a little Christmas twist to them so yeah pretty cool stuff inside of there and then there's also going to be some surprises waiting inside of snowmen in the map can't wait to see what that's going to be about who knows it could be something cool it could be something scary again very very excited for this because I really do love zombies in Black Ops Cold War I really do it's a lot of fun for sure and yeah this is going to be awesome for the holidays another new LTM coming in season is called Cranked and the description says a limited time mode both literally and figuratively Keep one eye on the countdown timer and the other on your zombie killing. Spend too long without an undead takedown and you'll explode. There's no time to lose as your survival depends on frantic terror filled with takedowns where the only respite is the cranked power up. So the only way to prevent yourself from being blown up is to be cranked again by killing a zombie. It's kind of like the cranked multiplayer game mode but except it's going to be in zombie. So pretty cool stuff. Can't wait to see how this mode is going to play out. And now for the new operators we have three the first one is stitch which is like the cover operator for this season and then later in the season we have a bulldozer and then we also have Zenya. so yeah again these are the three operators coming within a season one guys so this is all the multiplayer stuff coming guys i'm gonna have another video talking about all the warzone content so be on the lookout for that guys please tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments i'm super duper excited for this brand new black ops cold war experience guys season one is here again Again, coming December the 16th. Again, let me know your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching. If you guys want to see more, feel free to subscribe and click the bell icon so you can't miss out on a single video. Also, feel free to come hang out with me in my Discord server, Twitch stream, and over on Twitter. Links can be found down below. I love you guys so, so much. Have a great rest of the day. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.